Many of you have probably heard about the recent Ebola outbreak in Western Africa, but how bad is this outbreak? Should we start to worry about Ebola infecting the entire world, causing mass chaos? Mm, the short answer is no, not really. But we should understand one of the worst diseases ever to plague humans. So what is Ebola, and why is Ebola so scary? Ebola is so scary and deadly because it causes you to bleed out of nearly every hole you have on top of making you bleed internally. It also causes your liver and kidneys to fail. Very, very scary. Death rates are anywhere from 50 to 90% of those infected. There are four subspecies that can infect humans, the Zaire, Sudan, Thai Forest, and Bundibujo Ebola virus. The death rates depend mainly on the medical treatment and the strain of the virus. The Zaire Ebola virus is the most deadly with a 90% mortality rate. So where does this evil virus come from and how do we get infected? The virus lives in other animals without causing any problems to them. They are known as reservoirs. The most likely reservoir for the virus is bats, but other animals could carry it as well. We just aren't completely sure yet, we need to do more research on it. The virus is not airborne, which means we need to be in direct contact with either the animal itself or with its bodily fluids of either humans or animals. Humans are likely to get infected from bat bites or hand any of these infected animals. After the first human gets it, it can be transferred via their bodily fluids, spit, urine, semen, but mainly blood are the culprits. One common way it is transferred between people is bloody convulsions. I know it sounds extremely scary. People bleed constantly who have the disease. Then they can have convulsions from the disease. They shake so rapidly so fast that small little blood droplets can become airborne and usually infect people. Usually the people infected are the ones who are trying to help their loved ones who are sick. It's a terrible cycle. So how does this virus do so much damage? Ebola virus is fairly good at evading our immune system by infecting a type of white blood cell which basically carries it throughout the body. The virus then attacks endothelial cells which line your blood vessels. It kills these cells which makes it so you start to bleed literally everywhere. So now that we know how horrific Ebola can be, should we be worried? Some people think that Ebola is a likely contender to be designed as a weapon by scientists to be airborne. And that's not very likely, and I think you probably shouldn't worry too much. Ebola, as we know it, on the other hand, is a little bit dangerous. It infects usually less than a thousand people each year though, compared to something like influenza which kills approximately 25,000 people each year just in the United States alone. Ebola is very unlikely to spread to developed countries and even if people are infected, those countries usually have the gear needed to stop further issues from happening. Ebola is a horrific thing in this world, but don't live in fear of Ebola causing a worldwide pandemic. We will live on. Let us know what you think about Ebola and if we should be worried down in the comments down there. Thanks for watching and have a super fantastic day. Hey there guys, how you doing? Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please press that like button. We appreciate it a bunch. If you want to subscribe to catch all of our new videos, go ahead and do that right now. It's just a click away. Also, if you want to watch some of our old videos, feel free to click the annotation above over there. Or if you want to watch the animators channel, click on the link below. As always, thanks for watching and have a super duper delicious day.